that tree's been dead for the longest time. So we're trying to make mulch out of it. Oh, <gasps> a brick? That's actually pretty good. Wow. Where was it? Inside the tree? That one. Oh, wow. So I took the little fence we had along here and as you saw me I was weeding and this is how it looks like right now. I am going to try to start with cucumbers here, pickling mostly, but the most important thing is try to suffocate the weeds so I'm going to put some straw and mulch and other things. Um, that they are getting from that dead tree over there. I don't know if it's with a glare I cannot see, but that red tree over there, we're just trying to harvest as much as we can of that so we can use it as mulch. I'm going to start putting some straw in the bottom. Now I'll put that on top. And everything that I got is here all the weeds and everything this is th those were frames that were used in a flower farm so I kind of nailed them together created this little table right there and then I'm gonna put all the garden waste there I still have to do weeding all around there and some things are growing I'll show you later Hi! Hello, Mocha! Hi, sweet, sweet girl! Hi, sweet, sweet girl! How are your babies? The babies in your belly! Hi! Oh my! Hi, sweet girl! Oh, my girls! And my sweet, sweet boy so I don't know if I mentioned last year 
that this is what I've been using the sitting square you can get it in Amazon and it has different colors and with the different colors you can go and check here in the planting guide which is all messed up I need to print a new one but this one it shows you like how many you can plant per square feet and then you just follow the coloring if it's a let's say leaks it's gonna be red so one two three four one two three four and then you just kind of go with the red or if you you know if it's rutabaga or swiss chard or whatever it's only four so you go by the blue ones in this case i am doing cucumbers and it's four square feet so basically i put it one here i make a hole here to remind me and then i do two three four and i know i have to put the seed right in the middle and then so i don't waste all this around it some kind of herbs or something i'll use that but the main purpose here is to have the cucumber plant here and i have four different ones planning to do the market more which is the one we got last year we love this one for salads and eating fresh just getting it from the garden and eating it i'm also going to try the chicago pickling the boston pickling which i got from a, an extension program and the is it alibi f1 pickling and they all have pretty much the same time i think it's 50 days or so to harvest so we will try that uh, we're supposed to plant around may 15 but i've been looking at the forecast and there's no freezing temperatures um even before that day so i i'm just gonna try to get this done and I think I'm gonna do this one first. And I brought a pen just to make sure that I remember what I'm planting because this year I've been pretty bad at that. So I'm gonna do one seed. And this one it says days to maturity 67. Now it doesn't say how deep you have to do it. So I am not gonna do it too deep because I feel like you always kind of follow how big the seed is and this one is not the tiniest the kind of lettuce seed but it's not also a bigger like a pumpkin seed so I'm gonna stick it there and I'm gonna cover it make a little hill and then push it so there's no air So that's what I did. What I'm going to do now is just put some fine shavings around and that way I can kind of keep the soil a little bit more humid, not wet, but humid or moist, I should say, that's a better word. And that way I can only water this part since I'm hauling water. I, I just want to make sure that I am watering what needs to be watered. So I'm going to concentrate on this. And then the rest of the pine shaving are gonna be around so this soil doesn't dry up. Because even though it's just here, it needs the nutrients for, you know, the four square feet that we're going to use for this particular plant. So I want to make sure I do that. And once the plant comes up, then I'll put more pine shavings around it so it really doesn't get dried up. Because this potting soil, as you can see, it really, dries very very quickly and since I haul water here from the creek especially when the cucumbers are in the stage where they're growing since they're mostly water they do need a lot of water so I need to make sure that I continue to water it even more at that point and having the pine shavings or whatever mulch I can use on top it's gonna help a lot maybe later on I'll do some I'll use the wood chipper. I have a lot of things that I could put through the wood chipper and kind of put it on top to make sure that once it stops raining, uh, they don't fly all over with the wind because that's what happens with pine shavings. But it's been working great 
for my potatoes that I'll show you later on. I decided to use little containers for the potatoes and they're thriving. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's gonna be super easy to harvest, but I'll show you that later. Let me figure out what I'm gonna put around here and just finish this bed. Can you hear the wind? It's coming. You can hear it coming from, I'd say at least two miles away. It's all wooded. So because of from where it's coming, uh, now it's quieting down. And now all you can hear is the river. So in this one, where it's wet, I put another of the Market More Cucumber and I have two extra square feet there so I'm gonna use this okra, which is a rainbow mix. It's supposed to be easy to grow. I don't know, I never tried okra or tried to grow it. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna do a plant per square feet and then I'm gonna do baby bok choy here. Now this could be a total fail and the bok choy maybe too because i've tried and i've never been successful at growing baby bok choy but even if you know all i get out of this bed is just the market more cucumbers which did great last year then i'll be okay with this bed used for that purpose
We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play full and free. What are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo, señor Winsor? ¿Eh? ¿Estás jugando? ¿Eh? ¿Sí? ¿Estás de relajo? Pura teta, creo. ¿Eh, señor Winsor? Hi, sweetie. I am working in the garden. I will be back to pet the lady. Bye, my girl. They're so, so sweet. Like. We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydream. 